very best of half network today we'll be solving removing the duplicates from a string it's an easy level problem and can be solved within time limit of 5 minutes for the string gigs for gigs g e this is not included because it is a repeated character and it's a duplicate character so g e k s f o r this G is repeated from here, E is repeated, E is repeated, K is repeated, S is repeated. So the output is G E K S F O R. For the second string, G E is uh, repeated, so we have removed it. The space, then F O R, the space is repeated, so we have removed it, and this E X is repeated, so we have removed it. So let us start developing the strategy for it. So step one. So step one. Initialize. Initialize the variables. Record variables. Variables. The record variables are one will be a set. Set is a data structure which allows only non-duplicate non elements ok initialize a set so that's our arc variable 1 and one result string result string uh, so our step two step two pick every character from the string character from the string check whether two point one two point two while trading while trading So check whether the character is present in set. Character is present in set. If character present, do nothing. If character is not present that means we are encountering the character force first time character is, is present character is not present then if character is not present then you have to add the element add element to character this one so to point to point so add element of the character this is this is one so add element of the character and two will be add element to the result string So that's the idea and step 3 return the result. So now let us do a dry run. Initially we will be having two variables. Okay, for gigs for gigs we will do gigs for gigs. Uh, string S let string this string S be equal to gigs for gigs. gigs. And set is empty set. Set is empty set. Okay, so we have initialized all the required things. Empty set and a string variable. Result variable. Pick every character from the string while iterating from i is equal to zero till length of the string. Of the string. 
okay pick every character from this string first we are picking g we are checking whether it is present in or not it is not present so we are moving to this area this section of partitions so add the element to the character now the set will be containing g and result variable we are adding g now we are checking for second element e so we are checking whether it character is present character is not present so we are adding the element to the set and adding the element to the result next e we are checking the character is present in the set so do nothing then we are taking character k we are checking whether character k is present no so we are moving to whether check whether character is not present since character is not present we are adding it to the set as well as as well as the result same goes for s and so on. and finally we are returning the result so now let us start the implementation so step 1 initializing the required variables so we are declaring set set of characters character set is a new hash set character okay that will do string plus So step one is done. Now let us move to step two. While iterating, pick every element. Now let us move to step two. So first thing is while iterating from length four, and i is equal to zero, i less than s dot length j plus plus. Okay, we have to pick a character, every character. So k r c h is equal to s dot character at i. Now we have to check whether it is present in. The set or not? If set dot contains ch, then do something else. Set dot if it contains, then do nothing. Do nothing else. Set dot. We have to add the ele element to the character set. Add ch plus is equal to plus plus. Then add the element to the result string. Plus equal to plus plus character dot to string ch. And that's it. And final step, step three. Returning result. That's it. Now let us run and see. You might be thinking, why I have used a set? You can use a list also. The thing is, like for set, you can find the element in a constant time. So that's useful. And therefore, the performance will be very good. You can see the performance improvement in the result. It takes only 0.13 seconds to complete the execution. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.